Okay, today in geometry we're going to talk about um, the mid-segments of the triangle. So if we look at the mid-segment um, theorem, the triangle mid-segment theorem, the mid-segment theorem states that if uh, D is the midpoint of CA and E is the midpoint of CB, then DE is parallel to AB and DE is equal to one half AB. So basically if we take the midpoint of two sides of a triangle, we extend a segment. This segment created will be parallel to the opposite side and it will also be equal to one half of its length. Okay, so let's see if we can identify some parallel segments. If I take just the sides, I'm going to say the sides of my triangle are DE, DF, and EF. Okay, now Using this triangle mid-segment theorem, I'm going to say that DE is parallel to TS, okay? Notice that R is the midpoint here, and S is the midpoint here, T is the midpoint here. It's indicated by the congruence sign. Then I'm going to say that DF is congruent to RS, or excuse me, not congruent, parallel to RS, I misspoke. So DE is parallel to TS, DF is parallel to RS, and EF is going to be parallel to RT. So parallel to RT. Uh, the second thing it tells us is that uh, the mid-segment is one half of its parallel partner. So if I say if QS is parallel, right, to UB and QS equals 50, then what do I know? UB equals half of 50, which is 25. Okay, so that's using the theorem. So we'd say this one is 25, and if I look at this one, RS is 40. UT is going to be its mid parallel mid-segment, so it's going to be half of 40, which is 20. If I look at this one, TB is 30. It is the mid-segment parallel to QR, so QR is actually going to be 2 times 30, which makes QR equal to what? 60. Um, those are the two types of problems that you have to practice, and your practice begins here and um, runs through 21. So practice those problems and then check your answers online.